Radio 1450 WCTC. Call Jersey Central at 732-545-9282. Toll free at 888-545-9282. Watch Jersey Central live online at WCTCAM.com or listen on your smartphone with the iHeartRadio or TuneIn apps. Connect with WCTC on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube by searching 1450 WCTC. And now back to Jersey's Morning Show. Jersey Central with Burt Barrett. 837 Jersey Central on the new talk radio WCTC, the voice of Central Jersey. It is Burt Barron. Welcome inside the Forge Jewelers Studios on this Thursday morning. 732-545-9282. 888-545-9282. We'll do our need to know things coming up a little bit later on in this half hour of Jersey Central. I uh, also heard Bernie mention big trouble on Route 78 this morning. We'll get the latest from her coming up at 845. Right now, let's go to the Raritan Bay Medical Center Jersey Newsmaker Hotline. Welcome in the Executive Director of New Brunswick City Market. Here to talk about the uh, currently in-progress New Brunswick Restaurant Week. And I think we're off to a real good start. Uh, Pam Stefanik is with us uh, here this morning on WCTC. Hey, Pam, it's Bert Barron. How you doing this morning? I'm good, Bert. How are you? I'm well. Thank you for taking the picture of me by the Buddha. And it, right, it, it looks like his hand is on my head. You're right. I put the picture on Facebook yesterday. It looked great, but thank you for that. And that, of course... Uh, What's that? I was going to say he looks like he he's ready to bless you. He is. He is. I am blessed, Pam. You know that. So, but uh, and we took that picture, of course, inside Hotoke, uh, where Tommy G uh, did a live show earlier this week as part of the uh, Restaurant Week celebration. Yes, and it was fabulous. And um, they are. We have another one coming up next week, so we want to invite all the listeners to come out to Old Bay. Uh, I believe it's next Tuesday. That's right. From three to six. Uh, come say hi to uh, Tommy G and the and the crew, and there's uh, a lot of opportunity to win some great prizes these yep. two weeks. Yep, good stuff. I haven't been to the Old Bay in years, uh, Pam. I'm looking forward to going back there next Tuesday. But uh, talk about some of the restaurants. Do you have some new uh, participants this year in Restaurant Week? We do, actually. We have over 35 restaurants participating this year, and 12 of them are joining us for the first time. That's great. Um, That's excellent. Yeah, yeah it was uh, it was quite surprising, actually. Uh, we have um, the Dillinger Room, which recently opened in the downtown about eight months ago. Mm-hmm. We have Fritz's on Easton Avenue. We have um, uh, La Chica. Uh, we have a few of them uh, from the uh, Esperanza neighborhood, which is the Latino neighborhood off Route 27 uh, on Somerset and on Handy Street. They joined us this year, uh, so we welcome them. Um, we have Veganized, we have the Sushi Room, we have Hidden Grounds Coffee also is new uh, this year. But, uh, you know, we have our, our uh, returning uh, favorites as well. We have uh, Filippo's Famous Pizza, we have Harvest Moon, again, Hatoki, Hands on Route 1, Glasswoods Tavern, Frog and Peach, Esquina Latina, Delta's, Clyde's, Catherine Lombardi's, Christopher's, Chapati House, uh, Panico's, Stage Left, Steakhouse 85. Uh, also, the Stress Factory Comedy Club. You can get a great uh, deal there to see a show and have dinner. Um, Tumulti's recently joined us, and New Brunswick Pizza recently opened and joined us. So we have an array of uh, dining options uh, for these two weeks, and they are offering any form of uh, anything from a discount to a pre-fix menu, uh, many offering lunch and or dinner specials. Nice. And uh, that's a great array. And like you said, really something for everything. If you want just, uh, you know, a simple sandwich or maybe some pizza or something, or you want to enjoy a real, real glamorous, nice sit-down dinner downtown, uh, all these restaurants can offer everything and that and, and everything in between. And it's just a, a great list. And for people that say, well, you know what, uh, I can't afford to go to the restaurants or I just never get a chance to go to any of these places, take advantage of these uh, of these restaurant week deals that are going on because they're really some of the best that you'll find all year. This is a great opportunity to take advantage, especially if you wanted to go to a more upper scale type of restaurant. Sure. Uh, going there for lunch, even a business meeting. Uh, it's a great way to taste the food that they have, see the type of atmosphere inside the restaurant. Some people will call us afterwards and say, we've never been inside, let's say, Dumare or uh, Stage Left, uh, but it afforded us the opportunity 
to go in and, and see the atmosphere, taste the food, and, you know, they come back. They return as, as uh, regular clients. So it's a great opportunity to take advantage. And it, it, it ranges, you know, for, for any taste and any budget. And you can dine for the next two weeks having lunch and dinner. <laughs> you really could. The, you could. You could. With, with so many options um, and mouth-watering uh, uh, food that's being, you know, really served up. It's a great also, uh, uh, yeah, hello. It's a great opportunity to um, to get together with some friends um, yeah, and, it, and it, have a good time. It's perfect. I mean, for anybody that works downtown, if I work downtown, Pam, like you do, I would look forward to restaurant week every year because I know that, all right, no brown bagging for me because every day I'm going to walk in and go try out a new place because they got these great offers and there's even new places that have just opened. This is a great opportunity for anybody who works downtown that just wants to try out some other places. Restaurant Week is was almost like it was custom designed for the people that work downtown. Oh yeah, definitely. It allows them to come out of their office, uh, you know, grab a bite. They could even also grab a bite if they didn't want to um, uh, sit inside because it's so nice out. Yeah. They could grab a bite from a, a, a local deli, and they can come sit in the park and listen to some music. Yeah. We have strolling musicians over the next two weeks as well uh, during Restaurant Week to enhance the atmosphere. Uh, of the downtown we also have a farmer's market on wednesdays so there's a lot to do down here um during these two weeks as well yep lots of things Uh, visit the website very simple to remember newbrunswick.com and you can follow the link that will take you right to the new brunswick restaurant week page again it is going until uh, july 23rd so still lots of opportunities to try out the participating restaurants you'll see the menus that are there uh, the hours you'll see some of the special offerings that are being made and it's really just a, a great, great selection of, of restaurants of all kinds of dining. I mean, even, for, for, Pam, for, for late dinners, you and I put in long days. If we're working late or something one day, it's like, hey, you know what, I'm just going to go downtown and, and grab some dinner. Look at all the great places you could try that normally you might not go to. Uh, definitely, definitely. And we have some um, uh, some great nightlife as well. Yeah, of course, of course. So you, can, you can grab a bite and uh, listen some, to some great music. We also have uh, – visit us on Facebook – uh, we also have a Facebook event going on um, where we are giving away gift certificates. Mm. So if you go on to our Facebook page, uh, there are some uh, Q&As on there that uh, people can uh, participate in uh, for a chance to, to win. Very cool. Good stuff. And, of course, uh, WCTC, well, we're going to jump right back into Restaurant Week uh, coming up on Tuesday. Uh, we'll be back at the Old Bay on Church Street, right at the bottom there of Church Street, right across from the Hyatt, uh, the Old Bay restaurant with the Cajun and Creole offerings that they have. Tommy G and the All-Star Jersey crew uh, will be broadcasting live on Tuesday, 3 to 6, uh, from the Old Bay. Uh, such a fun place, great uh, great environment, and uh, I'm looking forward to getting back to the Old Bay myself. But uh, if you go to NewBrunswick.com, and again, uh, follow the link to Restaurant Week and, uh, and have at it and enjoy and see all the great offerings uh, that New Brunswick has to offer. Uh, Pam and, of course, her crew do a, an amazing work uh, of really promoting about all the great things about New Brunswick. So, And uh, we're real pleased, of course, uh, to work with them on all their projects as well. Pam Stefanik, thank you for your time this morning. Enjoy Restaurant Week as well. I know you get around and try out some of the places yourself too, right? Yes. Actually, we've been trying to uh, pull together some lunch options and some early dinner options for the next two weeks because we want to dine around the downtown and uh, taste some of these uh, great options that we haven't had before. All right, good stuff. Well, I'll probably see you downtown at some point or another, and uh, thanks for your time this morning, Pam, all right? Great. Thank you, Bert. All right. Have a great day. You too. Thank you. All right, Pam Stefanik, executive.